In this video, we are at Death Valley National Park, visiting some of its most popular areas, such as a rare lake, Badwater Basin, Devil's Golf Course, the Natural Bridge, and the Harmony Borax Works. Come with us to check out Death Valley. Welcome to Terry Family Adventures, a channel that strives to explore the world and show our kids what beauty it holds. On our channel, we not only want to see everything we've dreamed of, but we want to share it with others also. If you enjoy our videos, we ask you to please like and subscribe so we can continue our journey. So who would have thunk it? There is water in Death Valley. It's not drink cool. I wouldn't drink it. it. This is all salt. Here walking in the salt water. And water in this thing for a long time. For 10,000 years or something like that. For maybe longer. But don't, don't quote me on that. We'll do research and put it down below. Oh, dang. Yeah, we're like soaking in Epsom salt right now. This is good for all of our hike in the mountains. That's pretty wicked out here in the middle of this lake. I don't know how deep that is. You can see that hole. Oh, it don't even look like it spreads green like when you take your glasses off. How's it feel? It feels good. Put that in your mouth. After Ooh. people's nasty feet have been in this thing. That is salty. That salt kills all nasty feet. And women pay good money for this kind of foot rub right here. <laughs> that is cool. I don't know if it's good for me or not, but you know. Feels good. It feels good. Comment below, but Maddie's outfit is amazing. From the sunglasses, to that good looking smile, to the sports bra and the shorts. She don't have her shoes on right now because we're waiting in this, this crazy water in Death Valley, but, but she looks amazing. This is Lake Manly, a saltwater lake. It is currently one of the most distinctive geological features in Death Valley National Park last appearing in 2005 and now back after historic rainfall in the fall of 2023. <laughs> I wonder those horses when it drink that water. <laughs> the Devil's Golf Course here in Death Valley National Park. You gotta watch your footing in here. But it goes as far as you can see. Besides the mountains, obviously, in the background, but we are below sea level. And then you got snow peaks right up there. That's crazy. Watch your footing. The Devil's Golf Course is made up of large salt formations that jut out of the barren landscape for as far as the eye can see. Devil's Golf Course gets its name from a guidebook back in the 30s that stated only the devil could play on such a surface. When the miners were exploring this area, they saw that the salt and gravel beds could extend up to a thousand feet deep in some parts. We are now at Badwater Basin. Badwater Basin is the lowest point in North America at 282 feet below sea level. 
The salt flats here cover nearly 200 square miles and got its name from a mule that didn't want to drink the water. It was a long, rough road and a short hike, but... We have made it to the natural bridge. A little bit longer hike than we anticipated, but that's kind of neat. Harmony Borax Works played a significant role in the opening of Death Valley and the following popularity of the Furnace Creek area. The factory and surrounding town site plays an initial part of Death Valley history. Here's stuff that was actually used by the 20 mule teams when they were mining borax out of Death Valley. After borax was found near Furnace Creek Ranch in 1881, William T. Coleman built the Harmony plant and began to process ore in late 1883 or early 1884. When in full operation, the Harmony Borax Works employed 40 men who produced 3 tons of borax daily. The Harmony operation became famous through the use of large mule teams and double wagons which hauled borax the long overland route to Mojave. The romantic image of the 20 mule team persists to this day and has become the symbol of the borax industry in this country. Yeah, looks like it. On December 31, 1974, this site was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. And then here was the water heater that they warmed it up with. We ended our time at Death Valley National Park at Dante's View, considered one of the best scenic vistas in the park, providing a bird's eye view of Death Valley. We hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, like and subscribe to see more, and as always, a family that adventures together stays together. Thanks for watching.